Hi there, welcome to this video about the Puppet Warp Tool in Adobe Illustrator. And it's used for a couple of good things. One of them is this, where we get to kind of manipulate type and bend it around so it fits into shapes, but also make monsters dance. <laughs> very, very important, useful technique. All right, you can make monsters wave too. Let's go and do it in the tutorial, yay. All right, let's get started. Open up the puppet pin file from your exercise files, and we're gonna find, we're gonna select on something, okay? Now, for this to work, it needs to be a vector file, okay? So, most things in Illustrator are. If you wanna do it with, say, a JPEG or pixels or raster images, you can do it in Photoshop. There's a puppet pin tool there as well. There's one in After Effects as well, if you wanna animate it. Um, and this is the tool we want, the puppet pin tool. Okay, and you click on them once, you need at least two. Okay, but in this case, probably need a few of them. Now, you'll need to kind of probably experiment with them because once you put them in, watch this, if I grab the tail and wiggle it, it's cool, huh? I love, I love, I don't know, just pretty cool and organic, okay? Now, you can see his kind of, uh, see the waves moving? Oh, well, his, um, it's meant to be water. <laughs> okay, but you see that wiggling around? If you don't want that to happen, you might go, okay, I'm going to undo that and then I'm gonna put in a pin there and maybe a pin there. The more pins you have, the kind of more it doesn't want to move around that. You get more control, okay? You can see it's not moving the whale and over here, the tail is not moving that. So you'll just play around with like what you need, how many pins you need. If you wanna get rid of pins, say you don't want too many, click on them, delete on your keyboard. Other things you can do is, uh, we're just gonna pin this guy. So you need to select them first. Okay, we're gonna grab my puppet pin tool. And um, one of the things is you do get artifacts. It's just part of this process. Um, you might have to tidy them out afterwards with the direct selection tool. Okay, so I'm just pinning in a few places and you can see, um, you can see down here, see this little line here has kind of come apart. This, and that's kind of pointing a little bit. There's no real way of kind of fixing that on the fly. Okay, just get the things where you want it, change your adjustments, and then you might have to go and do some, um, yeah, fixing up afterwards. Um, and it's just a really good way of like kind of recurling this, okay? And say I don't want that kind of perfect circle look, I'm kind of just adjusting this. Um, yeah. Other options is with them selected, there is, there's this kind of dotted line around the outside. If you click, hold and drag that, it's the rotation rather than movement. All right, U, rotation, all very cool. Now by default, I've, well not by default, you're gonna show the mesh, okay? I should have had that on by default, but I turn it off, I don't find it that helpful. Okay, um, yeah, just shows you kind of like where it's kind of distorting this thing. Um, yeah, you turn it on and off. Uh, let's have a look at this one, because this raises some other, well not issues, but um, this guy here, let's say we're drawing a character, right? And it's best to draw them obviously arms off their body and legs so that you can later on adjust them, right? Gives you more options. What we're gonna do is select this whole guy and we are going to grab the pin tool and we're gonna look at kind of pin depth. Okay, and let's click on arms, this guy here. This guy's the best guy to do the animation with, okay, because, and da, 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 da. Okay, um, I'll put him back. Um, one of the things is, like, say I want to move him in and, like, scratch his belly, but at the moment he's scratching his bum, right? Because it's going, this kind of hand is going below this. Now, in other programs, they've got something called pin depth. We don't have that here in After Effects, sorry, in Illustrator yet. Probably it'll happen. There might be an option up here that says pin depth or over here in future versions. Uh, it doesn't at the moment, right? So I'm gonna undo and put them back. And it's nothing to do with like when the pins were placed. It's all to do with the layer order. So what I can do is I can grab my direct selection tool, click off, click on just this hand here, and I can bring it to the front. So you can use your shortcut or go arrange, bring to front. And so it's it's all to do with that, okay? You can mess around lots more in your layers panel, figuring out here's this guy and here's all those bits and pieces and dragging them up or down, okay? That might be just too painful. But now if I click on him and grab my puppet pin tool and I go, he's scratching his belly. Awesome, huh? And the last but not least, let's look at doing it kind of, I'm not a character animator, okay? I do more, more graphic design kind of work with it. So and remember in an earlier tutorial, we grabbed this and this and we made sure this is in front and we selected both of them and we went object, uh, envelope distort, and we said make with top object. And it kind of worked, right? But you're like, oh, I just wish it filled out over here. So that's where it gets quite cool, right? Is I can select on this, I am going to grab my puppet pin tool. Do I need to expand it first? I do. Okay, so with it selected, go to object, go to envelope distort, and go to uh, expand. 
So now it's just bits and pieces. What I might do as well is I want that heart back. How can I go back in time and get the heart? I know. Should have left the heart there. Object. This guy over here will release. Object. Envelope to store. And we'll say release, please. So now the two separate pieces. So I'm using this just as a visual guide. Okay, so this top one now. Uh, can I click on it? There is there. Cool. So if I go to object and now I expand them, I'm taking the long road. <laughs> All right. Um, and what I might do is give myself just a stronger fill so we can see what we're doing. And grab, now grab the pop up pin tool. And what I'll do is I'll just give it some kind of rough pins. Make sure I'm clicking on the right part. Pin. I'm going to pin it there. I'm going to pin it there. I'm going to pin it there. I'm clicking on the actual vector, not in this no man's land here, because that won't work. And I want it, so there's a couple of places I don't want it moving from. I want you to guys kind of stay up here. I'm guessing now where I want all these pins. So I want that bit to stay, because it's kind of looking nice. It's this kind of group here, okay, that I need. I'm gonna bring that out, put another pin there, and just tidy it in. You can see how you can kind of get some really nice, uh, wow, I guess, yeah, you see it there. It's a bit of control. And the other option, well, what you what we used to do is some of these liquify tools, and they're cool, but they're they don't they're not as much you know you can't have as much control. So goodbye gray box, and it's more like a heart, more ish. All right, uh, your class exercise is to go and play with this guy, uh, set him up in some different poses. But before you go and do that, I wanted to show you uh, how it works in something like After Effects because um, let's say we take this fella, okay and we stick him into our libraries. Uh, remember, I want to put him into my library. There you go, buddy. Because I want to use him in After Effects, because the Puppet tool has uh, like an extra ingredient in um, After Effects, which is uh, you can animate it. Whereas in Illustrator, it's kind of flat. We animate it a little bit in the next uh, next set of videos, but let's check this out. I'm, I'm in After Effects, just making a default comp, nothing special. And here are my libraries with my monster. Here he is. Cool, I might make him a little Actually, I won't make him bigger. I'm just going to zoom in. I know, I'll make him a bit bigger. And remember, when you're scaling stuff up in After Effects, you need to click on that little button so the vector comes and gets rescaled. Anyway, um, you can see here it's the exact same little icon, the Puppet Pin tool, exact same principle. Click him a few times. It looks slightly different. There are yellow dots. Okay. The nice thing about it is I can do the same thing as I did in Illustrator, except, and there's a shortcut, if you hold down the Command key on a Mac or Control key on a PC, okay, so I'm holding it down, I'm gonna, so I'm gonna click on the pin first, then hold down that Command key, and then, can you see the timeline down the bottom going? You can kind of see the yellow line. I am, um, it looks kind of crazy, but watch this, if I bring my playhead back to the beginning and hit return on my keyboard, nope, spacebar on my keyboard, Hit spacebar on my keyboard. Look at him go. <laughs> Every time I, I've made this guy dance thousands of times, but always makes me smile. <laughs> okay, you can go back to the beginning and say, I'm going to do the hand too. Okay, so with him selected, I'm going to hold that command key down. See the little stopwatch kind of icon appears. Now clicking, holding, and dragging, and scratch bum time, or waving time. Uh, yeah, back to the beginning, spacebar. Yep. <laughs> okay maybe it's just me um so yeah that's just the quick version i'm gonna jump back into illustrator now there i've got a course on how to do that properly with the puppet tool we look at puppet depth and mesh and all sorts of starching stuff so um check out that after effects course that one in particular is the after effects um and motion graphics course and one last thing before we go there's going to be times where and um, we've got this mesh okay and we don't want it anymore Okay, we want to get rid of the pins, and you can do that by going to Object and just go to Expand Appearance, and that kind of gets rid of everything, and it's now just a regular old shape. All right, my friends, that is the Puppet Pin Tool. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and yeah, I'd love to see what you do with this guy. Okay, make sure you share it with me on the site here and your uh, and social media. And yeah, let's go into the next video.